This is life, man. Taking it easy, being good, yeah. acting right. You know? Yeah. Feel like having a ball. Yeah. Amiga! Hi, <laughs> Scotty. Hi, Thought you'd shaken me at the airport, didn't you? Did you notice how it just started to rain? Melanie? Oh. I'll say it. You're lonely. Womanless and lonely. And you're so glad to see me you can't speak. No. No, Melanie, no. It, I, I, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Melanie, you're trouble. I've been trying to tell you this since you were trouble in Singapore. You were trouble in, in, in Stockholm. You were trouble in Tokyo. Greece. Greece, yes. The Greeks would like to forget <laughs> Greece and you. And the Turks laughed at Greece for a whole week on account of you. You remember? Thanks, fellas. You're Thanks welcome. a lot. Dear. And to make you even feel worse, calendar, whiskey, and rum. I beg your pardon? What did she say? She said calendar, whiskey, and rhyme. Calendar, whiskey, and rhyme. I, I beg your pardon? Those are the code words by which you'll identify your colleague, the third member of your team. Yes, that, uh, that was the kind of swear word that it was. It, that's flat. I'm not sure I know exactly what you mean. We worked with Melanie before. Mm -hmm. She was not a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Tough. <clears throat> what? Tough. Uh huh. Tough. Okay, listen, Russ, did you ever hear what happened uh, when we worked with Melanie in Greece? <laughs> yes, well, of course, after Greece, we sent Melanie to school. Mm. <coughs> Melanie went to school. School. Well, she should know by now then how to clap the blackboard erasers anyway. Mm -hmm. Photography and microfilm interpretation. She's an expert. She... Oh, you're going to need her on this assignment. And here's your assignment. Name, Andrew Wellington. Forget that smirk on his face. He's smart mm -hmm. and dangerous. He's an Oxford graduate, very large in communist espionage in Africa. The Reds pulled him out after the Lagos affair to keep his cover intact. Three weeks ago, we heard he was headed here for Acapulco. Why? Business with the Chinese. What's he going to do with the Chinese? We don't know. That's what makes it so very interesting. Yeah, well, why do we need to work with the... Because you need her. Why? Because of the documents he's got stashed at his villa. A layout of the Soviet African espionage operation. Chinese BR-3 is going to be here in six days to buy those documents for a quarter of a million dollars. We'd like to get there first. With Melanie's training and interpretive work, we think she's going to be invaluable in helping you spot where those documents are being kept. May I ask you a question, please, Mr. Conway? Of course, Scotty. Thank you very much, Mr. Conway. We know Melanie very, very well. Uh, I was wondering why she contacted us with a rhyme, rhythm, and a whatchamajigit. It's a very good question, Scotty. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Conway. Now, would you care to answer it? Well, I get my step sheet from Washington, Scotty, and I follow it to the letter, because I know that if I did things a simple, direct way, it would put a lot of nephews out of work, and that would make me very unpopular, which is a thing I don't want to be, with my pension only four years away. 
We use the same cover as always, huh? That's right. Oh, wonderful. Then we know who we are right away. What about Melanie? How does she fit into all this? She fits in very nicely. She's your wife. Good day, gentlemen. How you doing? What do you want to do? Blow our cover? We just got married. Look at me with love. She's right, Kel. How about a little, uh, a little skin diving? I could take her down, cut her hose. Isn't he beautiful, Scotty? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what about this Wellington? He should be coming down here pretty soon from his villa. He comes down to dig the seawater and the bikini chicks as they're walking around. Also, he's giving a party tonight at his villa. It's gonna be uh, a lot of good wine, a lot of good food, jet set people running around, and some gambling. No, I wanna go. What about, what, 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 what about the g gambling? From what I understand, it gets a little bit rocky out there in the waters. Some pretty high stakes. Kelly, I want to go to that party. Uh, actually, at this point, dum dum, the point is to get invited. I'll handle that. You won't handle anything. You're going to sit over in a corner someplace against the rock wall and and stay out of trouble. A secret agent that stays out of trouble? Oh, not really, darling. I'm really going to punch mm. you out. Here he comes. Take a look. I'll handle everything. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait a minute, dummy. Oh, yes, dear. If you'll get up now, please. I'll go on an assignment, okay, dear? Of course, dear. There you go. It's good of you. Thank you. Oh, do you ever think you really will get married, Scotty? Well, he talks about his son being the first man on Mars, so... I guess he'll get married, because if it's for no other reason but the space program. Does he ever say anything nice about me? Well, he talks an awful lot about the space program, mostly. Nothing else? Flower on one side. Excuse me, uh, Senor Wellington? Me? My name is Kelly Robinson. I play tennis. Uh, I think perhaps we have a lot of friends in common. I've heard a good deal about you. I wonder, do you know of me? Tennis? Yeah, well, some of us thought that perhaps you might enjoy attending the tennis tournaments we're going to hold here in sunny Acapulco. <laughs> Are you selling tickets? <laughs> no, no, I thought perhaps you'd care to come as our guest. Why? Well, there are going to be some pretty good matches, pretty... No, no. I have no interest in tennis at all. Uh -huh. Well, yes. <laughs> If you should change your mind, my name is Kelly Robinson. I will certainly let you know. Adios. What do you think, Scotty? Well, it's a... Uh, that's his I didn't make out so good face. Scotty, I'm telling you, I could handle oh, wait it. Wait here, wait here. Very, very icy fellow. All right, well, maybe he needs the intellectual approach. Huh? Hit it, hit it. Melanie, no, Melanie, you see this? Sit down. Good girl. <laughs> oh. Mr. Wellington. Alexander Scott, uh, Oxford. I was uh, in the class a year behind you. <laughs> it is true that one can never be sure of anything. But, you see, I never forget a face and... Uh... Yeah, but I, I said behind you, see? And I have forgotten your face already, my dear boy. Just turn, signore, and walk away. <laughs> I will carry the message to Mr. Wellington. What? You? She's carrying the message. To Mr. Wellington. Rightly so, rightly so. I certainly hope so after all that work. Oh, 
There is something about that child. A target, honey, that's all. Uh, just a target, and as long as you bear that in mind, uh, we'll be okay. <clears throat> all you're supposed to do is find out where where the documents are kept, and then, you see, you set it up so that we can uh, get them. The documents will be in a the safe. They'll be camouflaged. They'll be in his private office. But you find all that out while he was carrying you out of the pool? Mm, that's his method of operation, Scotty. Research in Wellington is a file this thick. I know it by heart. There. I've been very valuable to you guys, haven't I? Knowing all about Wellington, getting us invited to the party. Now, what's your contribution going to be? I mean it, really. You must have a plan, and you have to tell me, or I may wreck it. Yeah, that's a possibility, all right. <clears throat> Which entered our minds, so maybe you're right. We should brief you and see if you like it all. Right. Uh, we thought maybe we would uh, have a, a, a tennis tour, see, that would take us to all the capitals of Europe and, uh, and, and be <laughs> behind the Iron Curtain and in front of it. And uh, that way, you see, uh, we would have a reason to ask him to let us be couriers for him. No good. It's no good. The idea stinks. Why would a high-priced tennis star go into the spy business? Well, in the first place, honey, I'm an amateur, and I'm not high-priced. And in the second place, he's going to do it. Yes. Going to go in, sit down, do a little gambling, and drop about $10,000. You're going to lose all that money? Going to lose all that money. Then I'm going to say to the guy, look, I really don't have it, and I'll do anything. Let me off the hook. Tonight, you become one of his men. Tomorrow, I'll let you know where the safe is. True. Yes, true. Dear, that's the general idea. Now, what do you think if... Mm-hmm. Get me. I'm asking her what she thinks, yeah. just as if that were a possibility. Take you away anytime soon. That's Come on, right. guys. Let's go knock over an enemy <clears throat> agent. No, no, no. So, after you, it's not what's your way. Thanks a lot. Kelly Robertson. Uh... Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, well, we spoke this morning. Yes, actually, uh, all three of us spoke this morning. Actually, it was a, a ploy to uh, try and get ourselves invited to your party. I'm glad they was here. Boy. My goodness. Private gambling. Yes. A benefit for the children's hospital. Would you like to try your luck? Well, I don't need to try my luck, I'll tell you that. I have my luck with me. What's, uh, <clears throat> what's this game here? Baccarat. Mm hmm Baccarat. Now, uh, what is Baccarat? Uh, something like 21. Right. Except the hand that adds up closest to nine is the winner. I see. And uh, face cards don't count. Mm hmm How many cards do you get? Two. Two cards. And uh, each hand may ask for one more card. Is there a limit? No, no, you can bet whatever you want. Well, that sounds like a simple enough. Look at that. Look, look, would you please? Look at the way that she's really enjoying it. Bank wins. And look at him. Well, she can take care of herself, man. Eh? Yeah, I hope so. Come on. We're going to play a little bit here. Whoop, there's a seat. Thank you very much, coach. We didn't lose all the scholarship money. Fruity, tutti fruity. Uh, what about a thousand American dollars there? There, but it's a thousand. Yes, indeed. It's a very large bet this early in the evening. Oh, yes, but it's only money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Roll them. Do, 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 do. What, are they hot or what? Do, 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 do
The bank has seven. The player has eight. Okay, with us. Let it ride. Player wins. Yes. <clears throat> Let it uh, rise, please. <laughs> Great. Yes. This is ridiculous. You gamble us if you don't care if you lose. Well, yes, that's because <clears throat> sick. Nevertheless, that's the only way to win. Mm. Player wins. This is going to be a little ridiculous here. What is this, an honest game? <laughs> I'm married. If that was important to you, you would not be here. Let's put it this way. If it was important to my husband, he wouldn't let me be here. <laughs> well, whatever the reason. Mr. Wellington. Andrew. May I call you Andy? Of course. Andy. Back up. Back up, Andy. I'm not going to kiss you. I apologize. Accept it. But I want you to know that the reason I'm not going to kiss you is that I want to kiss you very much. That way things could get out of hand. Senora. Okay. I think you're needed at the back of the table. Uh, gentlemen, I don't understand what's holding up the game. My friend is only had 30,000. 31,000. I wish I'd listened to her mother if she told me not to gamble. If your friend will lower the amount of his bet. My friend bets 20,000, that's what he said. Well, um, I'm sorry, uh, the tables are closed. It seems only right, Mr. Scott. Uh, the gambling is supposed to be for the benefit of charity, not for your benefit. Do you understand that? He's winning? He's won almost everything in sight. I'll tell you what, Wellington. Take the thirty-one thousand dollars plus ten thousand. Be you and I, one deal, double or nothing. One deal. Even comes out even one million twenty five thousand pesos equal to eighty two thousand dollars for the mad dealer of the West. What do you want to do with this stuff? I told you what we ought to do with this money, but you wouldn't listen to me. No, I'm telling you, man, we cannot cheat the government, we cannot take this money and buy government bonds. You just cannot do it. We started out gambling with government money, now that's risk capital. No, but it's all the same. The government gets the use of the money when we buy the bonds for the time until they reach maturity and we can cash them. Hi, Scotty. May I come in? I haven't been able to sleep all night, Kelly. It is all only an upset, is it? Yeah. Well, I suppose we can dispense with the ground rules for one evening. It's all right with me if it's all right with you. Yes, it's all right with me. Is it all right with you, Scott? Well, don't get me involved with you know 
life all right, but me is it all right with you? Oh, don't you leave this room. That's right. What do you mean, leaving this room? Uh, wife, go around the other side or something. You goofed, Scotty. You were supposed to lose. I tried. You blew it. I said I tried. Oh, wait a minute, man. Don't lie. You blew it. The lady's right about that. She's not right about too many things in this world, but about that, she's just my new mini robe. Don't laugh at it. <laughs> Oh, dear, we all have our flaws. You What's have your knees, it? I have my birthmark. My knees, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold the knees, and you got a birthmark. Uh-huh, and if you look real close, you can see it. I can't see it really, but I'm told it's shaped like a lily. <laughs> oh, hold it. Now, listen, just cut it out. We're going to break in. Mm, it won't work. It won't work, no. Why won't it work? Break in, locate a hidden safe, crack it, and break out. That's a two, three-day operation, even if you get lucky. I can cut the time down to a couple of hours. Oh. By locating the safe for you. Oh, don't look at me like that. That's what I've been trained for. That's my line of work. I'm getting back into that house. Yes, well, how do you expect to manage that little part of the plan? By letting Andy make love to me. No. No, you're not. You're not gonna let Andy make love to you. You are my wife. And you've probably never had a whole shoe on the side of your head. I had the money all stacked in 50s and 20s, nicely done here. But don't be testy about it. We're having a domestic well, fight. I'll have to fix up nicely. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna do it. I am. You're not. What are you thinking, Andy, dear? That I'm um, pleased because you're here. And uh, that I want the battle that you must have had with yourself. You want a skirmish, darling, not the battle. <laughs> Please? Yes. Something? Mm -hmm. I never met a woman like you. I hope not. Andy? Yes. Show me your books. My books? Mm. Show me a man's books and I'll tell you if we have anything to talk about. And sooner or later, Andy, dear, we're going to have to discuss things. We can't keep doing this love dance forever. Andy, take me to your library. I told you, didn't I? Yes, you told me. Now, just keep driving the truck. Get an assignment with this woman, and you... The only thing that ever happens is you always have to wind up rescuing her. It was the same oh, in Tokyo, no. same in Hong Kong. No, no, nobody... You haven't had to rescue her yet. Don't worry about a thing. She probably has the whole thing wrapped up. You are quite a woman. Tell me more. You... You are... shy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After you show me your books. Oh, my books. Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, you, you must know that I am a great reader of history. Mm -hmm. You see, here I have a general section having to do with history. It's written from the point of view of the political theories. Mm -hmm. And here on the other side, I have all the 19th century historians. Mm -hmm. They they were the last one to believe that Andy? history... Yes, darling. May I see your bedroom? <laughs> of course. Yes, this way. Place, man. If she was a lady, she'd be screaming. What's she doing up there anyway? Andy, will you get me a 
drink? Oh, right away. Uh, darling, make yourself comfortable, will you? Hurry back. said you may trip off an alarm. Someone tried to enter the house, senor. Montano turned off the alarm, senor. But we have not located who it was. Uh, don't worry, Corbino. I think I know. I'm telling you, there's nothing to be jealous about. Are you talking to me, or is there somebody on the phone, or outside the door? Or no, what? no, I'm talking to you. Yes, you are. I don't know what jealousy has got to do with anything. I didn't say nothing about jealousy. All I said was that you looked, from what we saw, to be very much enjoying what was going on last evening. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing was happening. Mr. Wellington was a perfect gentleman. Isn't a lot right? slower than some, and a lot more rapid than others. Right. Hey. So, yeah, right. Hey. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Nope, and next one. 
Nope. Nope. Nothing. Mm -mm. Hold it. Okay, and next one and hold it. That's a dummy. There's a safe behind it. How do you know, Melanie? Now, see where the inset terminals are? Well, on that type of air conditioner, they fuse just below the selector panel. But not on that one. Yes, that's right. Also, also, the grill on the air vent has been lowered. I'd say about two inches below that of a store-bought model, uh, which could allow just the space necessary to hide the rim of the safe. Yes, if there's a safe behind it. Well, there's something behind that unit, and I'm saying it's the safe. So do I. Okay, so do I. <laughs> How did I do? Great. I didn't hear you. It's probably because I didn't say anything so far. All right, you were great. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you guys will break in tonight. You're gonna break in? Mm-hmm. I can't hold him off for another night. He's gonna call me today. I'm gonna spend an evening with him, and you guys are gonna break in. Well, listen, you don't have to rush into this thing with such enthusiasm, boundlessly like that. You know, because the Chinese cats are not going to show up for a couple of days, we can spend some time with infinite planning and detail. Well, what's to plan? You know where the safe is? Break in. What are you going to be doing when we're uh, breaking into the safe? Whatever my country demands, oh, Buster. Oh, oh, really? We have a super... Melvin, the super patriot over here. Superb super Listen, patriot. if Barbara Fritchie could stick her head out of the window midst shot and shell, <laughs> I can... Fritchie, dear, happened to be well along in years. Melanie, she didn't have too much to lose, one of the way or the other, whereas you do. So I'm just telling you, keep out of that... Hello. And she waved the... Who? Saying, Tell yeah, me. just a uh, sec. Barbara Fritchie. Telephone. Hello? Oh, hi, Andy. Oh. oh. I slept like a log. What does he care how she slept? There's no harm in asking how she slept. I'd be delighted. Absolutely delighted. <laughs> Oh, and Andy, darling, I'll look just lovely for you. As lovely as I possibly can. <laughs> you are really beautiful, darling. <laughs> oh, thank you. Shall we have a lovely evening? Yes, let's go. <laughs> Then came Wellesley. You're picking at your food, Andy. Eat. Well, anyway, Mother didn't want me to go there. She was afraid I'd become too liberated. She wanted me to be a Bennington girl like she was, but Daddy said no. Well, 
it look like to you? Yeah, a little bit of an alarm system here. Well, how about let's just play it that way? Yeah. You feel it? Yeah. <laughs> I will have my dessert now. Oh, but I want cheese, Andy. I want an apple and some cheese. Ring the bell, Andy. Yes. Well, anyway. circuit around it and grounded it. I mean, I mean, even if we break through this thing, some places have an automatic circuit that uh, the auxiliary goes off. That's marvelous. Now, what's the alternative to that? The alternative is that we would follow the wires all the way down to the source and then break it. How long will that take? About two days. Let's cut them now. Then after school, I met Emil. But the one I really dug was Eddie. Oh, mm. Was he bright? He was really bright. Darling. Yes. Let's go to the library now. But darling, I haven't finished my coffee. That's a really neat girl. We got work on for us. You know what? With us. With. With. With us. That's exactly what I said. With us. Yes. She's got a lot of grit. Yes, a indeed. Grit. A lot of grit. Plus moxie, too. Spunk. Spunk. Good spunk. All right, go ahead, hit it. Try. And put. That's good. Now, keep on going right. All the way around. One turn past zero till you get to 17. Spunk. Is it it? Yeah. Okay. Now, go back. One turn past zero, but real slow. It ought to be six. It ought to be. It ought to be. But hey, we'll try something else. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lot of numbers here. <clears throat> Hold it. That's it. You got it. Now, back the other way. Back, right, one turn past zero till you get to 12. Easy. <clears throat> and that's it. You got it, I think. Eddie was aghast. You would have really dug him. He was your type of man. He and I got along like brother and sister. We really did. Camp. That's where I met Arnold. But you think I eat a lot of apples. A little boy could really eat apples. I think it was because his mother was a doctor. And you know that old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I... Oh, you're going to look awful silly with lipstick all over you. very fond of you. See, I told you you were going to look silly. Now use your handkerchief. And I'm going to take it all off. I won't have you going for your handkerchief every 10 minutes. I'm going to take every bit of it off. Oh, 
Of course, darling. Help you, darling. Hello. More. Yeah, more. Mm. 180 of them all together. 180 names. It's practically every agent in Africa. Everybody from the Metro D at the dining room of the Hotel Nigeria. So one of the ex-ministers of Nyasa land. <laughs> well, this is the last one here. It's a little more recent. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I think we're in a little bit of trouble here. All right. Show off now. Well, what does what it is, say? It's some kind of a some kind of diary or something. It's, I don't think our Chinese gentleman's going to be in tomorrow. When? When's he gonna come? Tonight at midnight. Did Melanie uh, check with you when she got in? No, she would have called us. Well, not necessarily, ma'am. She's such a scatterbrain. You never know what she's gonna do next. If they catch her, they're going to kill her. No, oh, I don't want to meet. Oh. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, no, don't get up. Don't get up. I was just leaving. <laughs> Not yet, darling. No? Is this the woman? Yes. What, what do you mean, am I the woman? What woman? No, wait a minute. Darling, shut up. Your life depends on it. Okay? Be quiet. You know the value of the property, and uh, now I can absolutely vouch for it. You know my price? 20,000 dollars. 10 now and 10 after the property proves its value. Are you wondering what we're dealing for? Actually, I, I was thinking how well you speak the language, <laughs> actually. Actually, I learned it by studying very hard at one of your Ivy League universities and not involving myself in fraternity ceremonials or waving football banners. Oh, but that's half the fun. <laughs> it's your move, Mr. Wellington. Fifty thousand dollars. Cash now. <laughs> really? A Andrew. Yes? Are you sure you really want me here? Yes. 30, 15, and 15. Of course, there's no proof of its value. Just yesterday, you told me you weren't sure. Now I am very sure. There is no doubt at all. Here, this belongs to her. What, did you go through my handbag? Full of all the dirty, rotten stuff. Darling, shut up! When can I take uh, delivery? Now, my price. Done. Uh, darling, good luck. They're no longer his. He sold you to me. Oh, you got robbed. R really robbed. Anyway, what do you want with me? Value for my money. No! 
now we'll begin. Sir? Good evening, sir. My name is Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. I, uh, I'm a second story man because the first one didn't work. I'm trying to work my way into your confidence, sir. And if you... Help! Help! Your friend has been hurt here. What happened? There Simple things Ouch. first. Code name. Principal Drop. Acapulco. I don't know. Once more. Code name. I don't know. <laughs> normal. She's a little bit dizzy. Yes, indeed, Wilfred. Yes, indeed. Truly, truly, sir. I tell you now, do me one strong favor. Name I will. me one fine day where two American boys have sucked it <laughs> and given $82,000 to the Children's Hospital in Mexico. Say goodbye. I'm going back to the state. Melody, what are you doing out of the hospital? I'm taking a ride with the young Dr. Morales. Doctor, how is she? She needs fresh air. She needs rest, a lot of rest. And some greens. Fresh air. The doctor says fresh air. Enjoy yourself and take care. There goes the real lady, my friend. You know it. <laughs> 